Hello and welcome back to Plant Tissue Culture series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. In today's video, we will learn what is soma clonal variation, causes of soma clonal variation during plant tissue culture, what are their disadvantages, and at last we will see how soma clonal variation has been proved extremely useful for developing improved plant varieties along with some examples. So let's begin. One of the major applications of plant tissue culture technique is to rapidly multiply plants that are genetically identical to each other and to the mother explant from which they are derived. But sometimes due to certain reasons, the generated plants may accumulate genetic or epigenetic variations such that the multiplied plants no longer are clones or identical to the mother plant from which they are derived or with each other due to accumulated genetic variations. This phenomena is termed as somaclonal variation. Somaclonal variation are genetic or epigenetic changes that occurs during in vitro propagation of plants or during plant tissue culture. The term somaclonal variation was first introduced by Larkin and Scowcroft in 1981. But what is the reason for the occurrence of somaclonal variation? During plant tissue culture, various stressful conditions such as exposing the explant to harsh surface sterilization agent, wounding, hormone imbalance in culture media, light condition results in increase in reactive oxygen species such as free radicals, superoxide ions and hydrogen peroxide which results in oxidative stress which is a major cause of somaclonal variation. Genetic fidelity testing using genetic markers like RAPDs, ISSRs and SCORTs are routinely done to test if the plants are genetically identical or have accumulated genetic variation. To learn about these markers, do check out my detailed video on each of them. Soma clonal variation are primarily seen during protoblast culture, cell suspension culture or callus culture when undifferentiated mass of cells rapidly divides therefore having more chances of genetic variation accumulation. Subculturing the plants for large number of generations also increases the chances of somaclonal variation due to the same reason. Coming on to what kind of changes occur during somaclonal variation. During somaclonal variation, genetic alterations such as single base change termed as mutation, DNA translocations, deletions, insertions or duplication of segment of DNA or activation of transposable element or change in ploidy of plants resulting in loss or gain of chromosome can be observed. Along with the changes in the chromosomal DNA, variation may also occur in extra chromosomal DNA like mitochondria or chloroplast. Additionally, epigenetic changes such as DNA methylation or histone modification may alter the gene expression affecting the characteristic of somaclonal variant can also be evident. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of somaclonal variation. Variations occurring during clonal propagation through tissue culture is a major bottleneck in production of clones of elite cultivars where maintaining the clonal fidelity is very very important. It may result in production of plants with undesirable characteristics. The somaclonal variants may not be genetically stable. With time or in their next generation their characters might change due to their instability. On the positive side, somaclonal variation may promote the production of novel horticulture crops with improved characteristics such as improved yield, nutritional quality, disease tolerance, adaptation to abiotic stresses and others. These variations can be rapidly produced in plants which propagate sexually and even asexually. Unlike genetic engineering or gene editing, somaclonal variation are induced without inserting DNA from external source. Therefore, the varieties developed through somaclonal variation do not require regulatory approvals which is essential for genetically modified crops. The production of somaclonal variants is much cheaper and technologically less complex compared to gene cloning and genetic engineering. Coming on to some of the examples of horticulture crop varieties developed through somaclonal variation. Apple showing resistance to white root rot, banana variety resistant to fusarium wilt, reduced height and early flowering. Thornless blackberry, yellow capsicum, drought resistant carrot, garlic with higher bulb yield, pea plant resistant to fungus fusarium solani, spineless pineapple, potato varieties with high yield, heat tolerance and high level of antioxidants, stevia containing high glycoside content, strawberry resistant to several fungal pathogens, salinity tolerance in sweet potato, vidania also known as Indian ginseng with higher vitanoloid content are some of the example of somaclonal variants with improved characteristics. So that's all for the today's video. If you want to learn more about plant tissue culture, do check out my series of videos on it. 
subscribe to stay informed about my latest uploads thanks and see you in my next video